Thanks for joining us today where we're going to jump right in with your email questions on a segment we call Bring It On. That's your opportunity to just email in your questions to Pat. And every now and then I try to, you know, add my little tidbit. Yeah, I know you do. I know. Well, Brianna yeah, writes in and she says, my dad told me the other day that flossing can actually help your cardiovascular health. I think he was joking, but I'm still curious. Have you heard anything like that before, Pat? Uh, Brianna, your father was absolutely mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Uh, your gums, especially peritoneal disease, uh, is a type of inflation, and the inflation gets directly into your um, bloodstream, and it will infect your heart. There's no question about it. And so many people have periodontal disease, and they don't treat it properly. It needs to be dealt with immediately. And uh, this bacteria that gets in there, the bacteria can go through your body. I mean, after all, your teeth are connected to the rest of you. So flossing and dental health is very important. I totally agree on that one. All I right. big time agree. Okay, Greta. Greta writes in and says, after working out a particular body part, it's often sore for the next day or two. Is this normal? And should I still do my next workout when I'm still feeling stiff from the previous uh, one? Greta, wait three days at least. Uh, alternate your body parts. If you waited three or four days, if you only worked them once a week, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, but to go back with a sore muscle, you just make it worse. So what happens? When you're lifting weights, for example, you have little micro tears. So you're doing this and, and you tear little things. So they hurt. They don't have to hurt a whole lot, but they can hurt. Well, the idea is when you're sleeping and when you're resting, those tears uh, heal and they get bigger. And that's why the way you get your muscles bigger. Um, but by all means, rest uh, the ones you're working and go to another. Say you want a body part. Well, pick another body part, but stay off at least three days or more. But the encouragement is mm. you got to be consistent because if not, if you wait too long, then you do it again. You'll always be oh, sore oh, oh, when yeah, you work yeah, out. Sure, yeah, sure. I know. That's my challenge because... Once I get sore, I'm like, I don't feel like doing it anymore. All right, Grace writes in and says, Pat, I try to buy mostly low-fat, no-fat products to help me with my weight loss. The problem is I don't see much difference in my weight loss between those and the regular items. What could be going wrong? Uh, Grace, uh, there was the dirty little secret that low-fat, no-fat uh, didn't mean no calories. Mm -hmm. And what people did was juice those things up with a lot of sugar. And the sugar was what really hurts you. It's, it's the uh, high glycemic sugars uh, that cause you to gain weight. And, and fat isn't necessarily bad. You need a certain amount of fat in your diet and in your body. And uh, so it's, uh, uh, you don't want to cut out fat. What you want to do is cut out sugar. So read the labels. Mm -hmm. You know, my parents and I were talking about this mm. very thing the other day because yeah. now there's more low-fat, fat-free, low-sugar, mm. low-this than ever before, and people are fatter than ever. And I was asking my parents, I said, but why is it that when I look at pictures of you guys back in the day, everybody was slim, trim, and looked yeah. fabulous? And one of the things they said is, they said, we ate real food. We ate, you know, the real milk, the real butter, the real bread. You didn't have all these additives, preservatives, you know, fillers, all those things. Well, and I think that makes a difference, well, Pat. Well, fat fills you up. Uh, if, you, if you have fat, you feel full. Whereas if you don't have fat, if, if all you've got is sugar, you, you, you start mm -hmm. craving. It's like alcohol. You want more and more and more and more. Yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. Okay, Sarah writes in and says, Pat, why is waist size important when it comes to health and fitness? Well, it's where your fat is uh, located in your body. It, it hurts your heart and uh, your cardiovascular system. And if it's all centered around your waist, uh, it's going to cause disease. And so you really don't want to have it anywhere. But if you, the worst place to have it is where most of us have it, right in the gut. Yeah, the spare tire. Yeah. They say, you know how like they say that different people have different shapes. Like you've got the apple shape yeah. or the pear shape. They yeah. actually said that the pear shape individuals, which is where you're a little bit smaller on top, but larger on the bottom, mm -hmm. we're healthier. You notice how I say we? We're healthier. Because I'm more shape? pear shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm more, I yeah. I thought they were just slower. Our glass, well, whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, hourglass lady, that's a different, totally, I, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't call you a pear, I'd call you hourglass. Well, I'll accept that hourglass. So, you're right. <laughs> right, All right. Let's go to the next one. It's sad how I try to get compliments, isn't it? You were fishing like crazy <laughs> for that one when I was... Whew. Bring him in. All right, anyway, pleasure. sorry. What else you got? Holly <laughs> writes in and says, according to my workout program, next week I should be ready to increase the weight of my dumbbells and reduce the number of reps for each exercise. The problem is the next heaviest set of dumbbells at the gym is too heavy for me to complete the entire set of reps. What should I do, Pat? Holly, every well-ordered gym should have graduated or graduated dumbbells, two and a half pounds, up, 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 uh, graduated. 
And if your gym doesn't have it, they, you ought to get them to get you some different dumbbells. On the other hand, if you want to build up, I found that one rep at a heavier uh, weight, uh, if you do it uh, uh, once a day for four or five days or even two weeks, uh, you build up your capacity. Uh, but if you can't do that many reps, what you do is do the reps you can do, and then you go back to the lighter rep, reps and finish your workout. I mean, that's, it's that simple. But you keep working at it. I mean, if you do light and you want to do 10 reps, well, uh, do 10. And then if you add to it, you do three reps. That's all. You know, it's not, you know, some mm -hmm. magical thing that you've got to do so many reps. You know, Pat, I think there's actually a misconception with that because it's as though the the uh, the greater the weight, the mm. better the workout, and that really that's not true. I think it's how you work out. I've been in the gym and people have these heavy weights and they're like, huh, 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 yeah. and I'm like, you're not doing anything. But the people who might have lighter weights, who mm. really focus on the resistance and they do that's it slower, right. then you're then you are working a greater um, mass of your muscle yeah. because you're doing it slower and your heartbeat goes up quicker. Well, did I communicate heavy, that? Heavy weight will bulk you up. And yeah. You don't, especially ladies, you don't want to bulk I up. I don't want to be bulky. You don't want to be bulky. I don't want to be bulky. All right. Cameron writes in and says, Pat, I have arthritis. What do you suggest for people like me to safely start exercising? Cameron, I <clears throat> suggest that you take glucosamine chondroitin, which is excellent for uh, helping your joints. Uh, I'd take that uh, three of those pills a day at least, or maybe double that. And... Uh, then uh, try swimming. Mm -hmm. uh, swimming is the best exercise, but you need to begin to stretch. You know, try stretching, but you need to work those muscles gradually. Do something like a, an exercise bicycle or something like that that'll start you slow and easy, and don't be in any hurry. I mean, you know, you got a whole life ahead of you, so take your time and uh, stretch and let those things work out. But by all means, with arthritis, the best thing to do for it is to work those joints out. Mm -hmm. Don't let them freeze up on mm -hmm. you. Absolutely. Good answer.